Gary, what is this? Rain screen. What's that mean? What's it all about? This is a demonstration wall of a rain screen. Here you'll see uh, conventional construction with a, uh, uh, a house wrap and you can see it, it can become loose. This is what you see when you're, when you're driving around and you're looking at most truck to, uh, track subdivisions under construction. And then they've applied the siding directly to it. Uh, the problem with this is it's hard to get this airtight. And, uh, and it's penetrated in many spots with the staples and fasteners they use to put it on. So what we've done here is we've used a fluid applied flashing and this particular one is made by Stowe. It's called Emerald Coat and this you can either roll this on or apply this with a, uh, a large commercial sprayer and this is put on approximately 30 mils thick. It totally uh, seals everything in. There's no gaps. There's no way for air to get in. Well we have uh, space between any of the sheathing we uh, fill that with a uh, putty-like uh, material that's compatible with this. Then, in order to make sure that the wall stays, stays dry and drains well, we apply these strips here. And these strips, you can buy them already made, or you can just rip uh, 3 8 inch up to 3 quarter inch plywood and put these strips on and then attach your siding to this. And you can see, even if we get a driving rain, that gets through the siding anywheres on the house or any of the cracks, it will simply just drain right out the bottom because there's a 3 8 inch gap here between the siding and the things. And this way, any water that would get beyond the siding or any of the trim will simply drain out the bottom, keeping the walls dry. And this avoids mold and rot. Down at the bottom, we also have a bug screen to keep the bugs out from coming up underneath the siding. And you can see that, okay? Uh, the other thing we're not showing here that you can apply is a vent, you know, at the top to make sure that it, uh, that it drains. But we do have three quarters of inch spacing here. The siding isn't 100% tight, of course. It never can be air-wise. So uh, this is a solution to keeping your walls dry and avoiding any moisture issues such as mold and rot. And so <clears throat> what kind of house should this be used on? Any kind? I would use this on every, every house that you would build. You know, I think, and I think maybe in 10 years or so, I, don't, I think this will become a standard because it, it really takes care of the uh, moisture issues uh, that you'll find in, in a house. Any house over a period of time, things are gonna settle uh, you know, stone walls are going to crack uh, and what have you. And so this is a way to uh, let the water out. You know, the water can get in, but and this way it, it's not trapped, it can get out. And this is an absolutely foolproof way to do it, uh, to, you know, keep your walls dry. And this is one of the things that we offer at Home Rights. We, like to show the customers the cutting edge technology of what they can do to protect their investment and keep their family safe.